Hey everybody, um, it's been, I don't know, over a week now since I did my last video, which was in the hospital, Jade, Jade and I were still in the hospital, um, and I wanted to give you an update, I guess, um, things are going really, really well, uh, the transition coming home was a little rocky with, like, sleep and stuff, but... Um, other than that, it's been okay, and she's been handling it a lot better than I thought. I really thought she'd be more angry about not being able to move, or, um, just trying, trying to get around even though she can't, and she's, she's actually been doing really, really well. Um, we're starting to taper off some of the pain meds now. Since it's almost, it'll be two weeks on Tuesday that she had the surgery. We had a post-op appointment and everything went great. They did an x-ray and the hip is still in socket. And the doctor said, you know, that she thinks that because it's still in socket that there's a good chance that we won't have to do a second surgery, which made me, like, just sigh of relief, big sigh, um, but, I mean, there's still a chance that at six weeks we will have to do surgery, but we really won't know until the day of, so the plan is, which we don't have this one scheduled yet either, is, um, in, well, now it'll be four weeks from now, um, we'll go in, uh, they'll put her under, and they'll do an arthrogram, which is where they... Uh, inject some dye into her joints just to see like what everything looks like um, and make sure everything's healing up right at that point I think they do an, that I think it's an x-ray with that dye and I can't remember or not if they do another MRI but they they might, um, and then they'll decide if, if the hip's okay or if they're going to go in right there that day and fix the other one. So she told us just, like, show up just like you did for the last surgery and you might be here for a few hours or you might be here all day. So, <laughs> and then, well, actually more than all day for three or four days. So we really won't know until that day. Um... But I have hope. I all of a sudden randomly just got some hope back. I don't know if it was from the last few little tidbits of good news um, or what, but my brain is is cultivating hope <laughs> now, which it really hasn't been in a while. So um, my parents are here staying with us, which thank God, because I... <laughs> would not have been able to do it without them. I mean, just physically carrying Jade, I have to use two hands, whereas before I could kind of use one sometimes. So, like, getting her anything or pouring milk or helping Miles with something or, God forbid, changing a diaper, um, it's all just that much easier. <laughs> but we were, we were laughing last night because the four of us were sitting around just talking and uh, it was like 9 o'clock, and we're like, we're all like, oh, what time is it? And my dad goes, oh, it's 9 o'clock. And he's like, we gotta, we gotta go to bed. And I was like, yeah, I know. Somehow, these two children can tire out four grown adults, like, to exhaustion. <laughs> so, um... I'm just, I'm really glad that they're here. They've been such a help. And even though it's interesting trying to juggle di the dynamics of having four parents in a house as opposed to just two, um, it's, I'm just really glad that I have them as a support system. And them being here has just given me an opportunity to, like, take the breaks that I need to stay mentally sane because it's a lot of work and there were a lot of days where like Jade only wanted to be held by me and or 
needed to sleep on me or whatever. So it's just nice that there was someone else to hang out with Miles because there's just no way I could have done it by myself. I'm so grateful and I'm just, I'm so grateful that they're retired and able to be here and do that for, for us. Yeah, but, um, otherwise things are going good. I think, I think the depression thing, just an anxiety thing just seems to, you know, ebb and flow with whatever is going on in the moment. But I think since my parents have been here and I've been able to talk to them and yeah, and, and it's just, I think it's helped to be able to connect with, with them. And I did this, this is a silly thing, and I, I bought this unicorn onesie from Target. And I thought, oh, I'll use it for Halloween so that Jade and I can, we'll both be unicorns and it'll be fun. And then I put it on. And magically, like, I don't know, everything was funny. Or, like, everything was, I don't know, just seemed so ridiculous. So I just keep wearing it, and my husband thinks I'm crazy. But, I don't know, you just can't be in a bad mood when you're wearing a unicorn onesie. There's just no way. You just can't do it. You, like, if you get, you know, if something serious happens... All of a sudden, you remember that you're wearing a unicorn onesie, and it's it's not as bad. Like last night, I was wearing it, and Jade had this massive like blowout in the in the cast, which is a nightmare. Just a nightmare. It's just no fun. Like it literally took all four of us. My like Jim was holding Jade. And I was wiping, and my dad, my mom was holding a flashlight, because you have to, like, make sure it's clean up there and everywhere in the cast. And my dad was running to get, like, Q-tips, and anyways, it took four of us. And after that, I was like, the only thing that made that okay was that I, that I was in a unicorn onesie, and it was all right. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's something stupid, but it's fun. And I will probably wear it much more than I even anticipated. So if you're in a bad mood and you need something to perk you up, go out and buy a onesie that's ridiculous because it, it'll it make you feel better. <laughs> uh, but anyways, anyways, that's the update for now. I'm sure in a few weeks, or I don't know, I'll probably, maybe in a few days if I get a chance. It's a little bit harder to do videos when my parents are here, because it's, I'm not going to do one in front of them. It's kind of awkward, but anyways, uh, <clears throat> some of you have sent cards and gifts and whatever, and just saying that you've been thinking about us, and I really appreciate it. Oh, I think I woke her up. Okay. I'll let you guys go.